Hello everybody, welcome back to Stoneheart, me Banto, so we're back here in my town. I did have to instant build my blacksmith, they didn't want to continue it, so we have done this through the commands of instant building, and we got the blacksmith done. We're gonna start working with that soon, but another thing that I want to do today is to continue with the, the wall that we were doing at this side. We want to do like the towers for this side, and the paired defense, and maybe like make the gate as well. My most likely gonna be a pathway between these two as well, so it's gonna be nice. And I'm gonna wait with uh, I think I will wait with building anything, like we're not gonna build this side pretty much until they're done with like removing scaffolding here and stuff like that. And once it's removed, I'm gonna move in like the anvil and the forge and everything. So the blacksmith can actually like be working in there, and that should be really really good. But we're gonna go and we're gonna do these towers over here. So I think we should we maybe start with the towers or should we Maybe make the pathway between here first. Maybe we we'll make the like the path in between here first. So I'm gonna do it in one way here. I'm gonna use some slab. I wanna have it special like underneath the pathway. I want this to like rise up a bit. So for that reason, I'm gonna pretty much do it like this, and we're gonna see how high we're gonna go up. It's just gonna be easier if I do it like this because if I would have added like a bridge here later on, I would have to like go and sneak under like that, and that would be really annoying to add underneath it. It's Way easier to do it this way, I would say. That's pretty good. I think we want to have a little bit more height on this though, so we're gonna add at least one more. So maybe something like this would be nice. And this is not in really, you know, what they're walking on. This is just gonna be like underneath, making it look pretty beautiful. Creating a little bit more shape to it. So there we go with that, it's going up like that, and I think this is probably a pretty good height for it. Let's see if we can like keep the same color as we have here, so put like the middle of this. That should be pretty nice. We have it like this, and they can go underneath this thing. So we need to add uh, some coloring to the sides as well, we're gonna try to go for the same as we have here. This seems to be the one. I think that looks pretty good. I might make like a little falling down uh, door gate thingy, a big big gate that's going down. I think that would work pretty good with what they have here for the moment, so we are going to do that. It might prevent a little bit with shooting, so for the shooting part it's maybe not super efficient, because it can't go up, it can't go down. Maybe we actually go without it and we have to have a pathway here. The way that I would have had it would be that we would have like these things. You know, like wooden things going down that you can bring up and you can bring them down and stuff like that. So I think we might skip it just so we have the potential to actually have arches up here in an easier way. Or should we have it? I kind of want to have it. Let's try to do it. Let's imagine that it, uh, it stops like up here maybe. It should though go up a little bit higher than we got for the moment. remove a little bit here so we know that it looks pretty much the same for both sides. We will need to go pretty much the entire way out like this. And since it's uh, going to be open we have to make so it actually like sticks up a bit. And maybe we go for like a different color for that. So maybe we try this like very very bright color. Something like that. It's not looking the same for both sides. Let's redo this and we start here instead. So here in the middle it will be a double. Should be pretty fine with that. Maybe it makes it stick out as well. Also think that maybe we have so it's stone and just in the middle of this part. We want this to stick up a little bit since it's a little bit open. Check the date update. Ooh, almost. The net worth isn't good enough yet. So net worth is pretty much what we gotta have to like focus on getting up while we're not designing, but now we're designing so. I think the easiest way to add this for now would probably be to just drag it out like this and then we go in like remove stuff. 
that one came a little bit thick, so something like that should be good. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna make it go down even more, so I think we drag out a few lines here. Yes, remove the ones that we don't want to have later. I think we have it maybe open this much, so let's remove a little bit. And I think we want to have like some things like this. We do need to add one here. I want to have, you know, some holes like this. I don't want it to be super open. I have like small holes. Hmm, and two. Okay, so this should be pretty good. Maybe we have a larger hole at the bottom here. It doesn't really maybe make sense, I don't know. Maybe it does make sense. Let's try to add a little bit more, so we have like in between here also. Maybe the top for it would be in... Something like this. A way like that. If we want to, we can even make this thing that's uh, like pulling it up, pulling it down, whatever. Maybe it would be something up here that's actually like holding the thing, they're controlling it with this thing. But maybe they, you know, they go and like spin this thing around here, and uh, that drops it up and drops it down. And I think this height should be pretty good, working with this. So as you see, it will not be good for like archers standing there, but it also will be looking, I think it will be looking pretty cool, damn it. I think that if we should just add a tiny bit more detail, some way to it. Or if we should just go and add to it like this. Let's try it out. I also want to make it so it looks a little bit special when they're gonna enter here. I think that would be pretty cool. A lot of like details going on there. Hope you guys can like that. I think we should do a little bit with the towers, but before we do that, I want to check out what my people are doing. So they still have like scaffolding to remove, it seems. Pretty much everybody's idle, so maybe later on they're gonna like continue like removing it. We can also hope so. We can try this thing like one of you guys said, like clicking this one and hopefully like resetting the AI. It doesn't seem to work very often for me, but maybe it does. We're gonna see. Looks like they actually did do something there. So there's some people tearing down structures. Maybe this time it actually did work. It could have worked. It looked like the lines were changing. I want to build the next like structure, but like I said in the previous video, this windmill is pretty far away because it's very buggy to make it for the moment. Pretty much the whole game freezes and you have to restart the entire game and it's not very nice, you know? So I'm gonna deal with the, the zombie over here, I wanna get him away before we do anything more with our towers. Oh, everybody's hungry, so this should be nice, this should be a quick fight. Everyone wanna get back and have a snack. That's nice, easy fight for us. Did we get a little bit of stuff? Yep, got some ore and stuff at least. I think this is gonna be pretty nice. We're gonna do the towers now then, so they gotta be able to get up. They can get down here, so that's good. Have the sleeping spots. But we need to get up as well. We need to have uh, like another like stair, and we can actually we can actually add it over the other stair that we got here. Just to be like saving a lot of space, we can just pretty much like go like this. There we go, another stair on top of the other stair, saving a lot of space. We're gonna do the same for this side. Be pretty nice, and uh, we're gonna make this stick out a little bit also, I think. So we're gonna make a little bit of a different shape. However, like for this side, since we have this thing, we're not gonna be able to make exactly the same, so maybe it will be special like for the sides for... I think that could be pretty interesting. Normally I go all the way around, but I think this could be interesting that it's just for this and this, and then for this and this. Should be pretty nice. I want to try to add a little bit... I was gonna try around a little bit of stuff here. Maybe do it like that.
Be pretty nice. Then maybe go for this one. Just gonna fill it in like this first, and then we're gonna remove parts by parts. Make it thick from the beginning with this. To do it like pretty much like this doesn't look very nice, I know. Still kind of works, and see, we have to do it slightly different for this side. I don't think that should matter. We're gonna remove a little bit, so we pretty much make the same for both these sides with this. I think we maybe remove these. Maybe we go like that. And that looks a little bit strange if we do for this side, so I think these... These are gonna be different, but it will still look the same for both sides. That would be pretty good to remove a little bit here. So we're here we're missing one. Be pretty nice. We're gonna add a little bit here for where we have three. We're gonna make it stick up like this. Make it really really beautiful. Pretty sweet. And maybe we should go for the stone windows we had the last time. Go for something different. Maybe we should go for these ones. Look a little bit like it would be prism things, but I think that could look pretty cool for it. These, however, though, they will be like in the stair here, but um, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. I think I gotta go with them. Know that one of you guys also asked, why do I have so many crafts? The reason is I'm using so many different mods, and every single mod that I use you can find in the description of each uh, Stone Harv video. If you want to use it on your own, you can do it, and i also been thinking about if I should make a uh, tutorial for how to install them. It's pretty easy, but I know that not everybody has done things like that before, so maybe it would be useful for people to get something like that. Think about if we should have something like underneath these windows. I'm not sure if we should. Maybe it looks bad, maybe it should be over. Maybe it's the wrong color for it. Maybe go something like that. I kind of feel like I want these to stick it out a little bit more, but uh, I think we're gonna have it like that. I'm gonna do a little bit with the walls at least. I think this should be... We need a little bit brighter, I think it's this one. Pretty much should be that one. So let's do a little bit of things here. I'm gonna make I think we make like this first. Maybe we we'll go with something like that. Remove the first one. That. Maybe that looks better. I think however that maybe we should have so it like sticks out like this also. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe that looks strange. Maybe it should be like in a different color for it, just and maybe that makes it look better. I think it makes it look a little bit strange. We're not gonna go with that. I think, however, that I will raise this one up, and we're gonna have to make the stairs a little bit longer, slightly longer. Maybe like that would be nice, and I think we should add something here. Maybe it will only be like two with for this and we make it this thing. That should be pretty good. I think that'll make it look nicer. Nice. But this side maybe should have something also. Normally I don't really Oh my god, this is so annoying. Oh I could go back. It's so annoying when you change the entire color when you had added the color with that. It's like a good tool, but many times for me, it just comes at the, like, the wrong times. Oh, what? What's going on here? I haven't even been notified that something is happening with this. So we got an ogre coming in here. Gotta alert my troop. Oh, they're already like inside my town? What? 
this... what's going on here? Well, who's this? So, I got one of my clerics out here, which could be pretty dangerous. I'm gonna try to meet everybody over here. So we can get everybody together directly. We're gonna try to take out one of the arches early this time. Didn't like them the last time, so... Yeah, I think we can take the ogres now, it should be pretty safe. There's not so many arches of the enemies alive, so... Shouldn't be too dangerous for the moment. Hey, there we go, that was pretty easy. Just a little bit scared that we... You know, we didn't get any, like, info that something was about to happen, you know? Because let's do these little things. We should try... I think we should try to copy what pretty much what we got in the backside. So we do it like that for that. Here though, we will make it a little bit special. A little bit different. I think we had it like that, did we? Yeah, that's correct. So there we go, I think this looks pretty nice, guys. I hope you guys like how this looks and... Uh, that it appeals to you, that it looks great. We might add and we might remove a few things, but uh, this is the current state of the gate over here. I think it looks pretty nice, to be honest. Now, hopefully they keep like removing the scaffolding here. That's gonna be really great. So we have two walls to build this wall, and we got this wall to build, and then we have pretty much protection from everywhere, as long as we don't have a path to go up here. But we're probably gonna have some kind of like wall or thing here later on, that I've been talking about really long ago that we're gonna do. But uh, we're gonna wait and see the next episode if you keep like tearing down this or what's gonna happen because I want to start to build our next house. Maybe it will be storage house, but I do think it will be our farmhouses that I want to let uh, our people build next. But guys, thanks for checking out this episode with Stoneheart with Alpha 17 in Calor with me Banto. Hope you had a good good time and hope to see you guys soon again. So thanks for watching, hope you had a great great time and take care.